One of the most fascinating aspects of conservation and restoration is that it's not simply a technique, it's also a philosophy. It's a set of ethical decisions. Our students have unparalleled access to restoring real works of art. There are so many churches and families with amazing works of art in the region that are in dire need of restoration. We'll receive a call for assistance and our students get to work on these incredible pieces. We work again, always with original object, original art. Italy is, uh, maybe the Italy is the best, because the Italy had uh, Michelangelo, Donatello, Giotto, many, many important artists. 65% of the art in the world is in Italy. Just walking down the streets, they have frescoes um, in some of the walls or little nooks that have a um, Madonna and child. And this is just their environment. Most people take it for granted, but like if you're actually looking for these things, it's a really good experience to think about how you could possibly fix them. Students work very closely with a master restorer an expert in their particular field, and it becomes very much a mentoring relationship. So students get to touch amazing works of art, and there are times when you think, are they beginners, is this okay? But there's always someone right there who's an expert offering guidance and mentoring. I remember walking to the Uffizi and I, I stood in front of the Primavera and I just almost wanted to cry because I had studied it for three years up to that point, never thought I'd actually be arm's length away from it, and it was just very emotional. Yeah, all of my uh, teachers here all in the restoration department are great people who have accomplished a lot. Lorenzo Casamenti particularly has worked for over 30 years with some of the churches and monasteries around here, constantly bringing in work for them for us to work on, as well as bringing us there to work on stuff on site. I like the fact that it's a really hands-on type class. It's not like you just, you're just sitting in a lecture, it's hands-on, on-the-job training, where it's kind of nerve-wracking at first, but you know, you get used to it really fast. In the Medici Chapel, this, this area where Michelangelo had been in hiding, uh, all the charcoal sketchings that he did in his like, spare time, like we would doodle in class, he was just writing on the walls. There's burn marks from where he was holding the torch as he was drawing, and uh, fingerprints. It was amazing. <laughs> felt kind of special to go down there. <laughs>